Stout Crusher here, and welcome back to Worm Unlimited. All right, so our mine is right there. It's all going. Uh, I did find iron, so we're good to go on that. So this mine way up there can go ahead and uh, fall apart. Uh, yeah, all these walnut empty shelves, we had a mission progress right here. Uh, it was to help foe, which we can click. It was to help foe create right there. Foe wants you to create 25 empty shelves. Um, it was completed. We did 13 of them. So someone else or a couple other people. <laughs> I mean, we, we have plenty of empty shelves. You want a walnut empty shelf? Hey, we got them. In stock today. <laughs> but uh, I went ahead and I cleared out on the uh, first tier. So, well, second tier. Second tier. Because the first one's probably just going to be, uh, like, I don't know, landscaping. Probably trees. Start the tree farm there. But uh, this second one, right here, I went ahead and, and got worked out. I went ahead and packed our dirt. So we have all this packed. And uh, let's grab the shovel. So this is all flat. And then when we come over this way, I hit rock right here, and I hit rock right there. I think this one, nope, I hit rock right there too. So th this one is flat, but uh, it's connected to the road, so you can't flatten that. So we're going to leave this the way it is, and what we're going to do is this side will be like your parking with your horses. So you can come into your property and then turn this way. So you don't want to occupy this tile with part of your build. That way you can turn, unless you do the, uh, like a canopy cover. Um, where it's it's actually open on this side, and then you could open on that side so where you could go through. And then you could have a door either here or here. But all we're going to do today is we're going to make a 2 by 3 So we're going to grab our mallet right like that. We're going to come over here. You're going to right click and plan building. So there we go. Underway, underway. So there we are. So that's what the build's going to look like. It's going to be right there. Now, it is going to be a normal 2x3. Now, I do want to go wooden walls on this. And if you right click, you, can, you need to finalize or you can destroy it. So we'll finalize the build plan. Boom. Done. Now we can go build and then there's two types we can build because we have the uh, mallet activated. If we switch to this one it should show... Well, I guess my skills are not high enough or something. Um, let's see. Stone chisel. Yep. So, all right. Maybe it's because what's in my inventory. I don't know. But anyway, um, where'd it go? Mallet. There we are. So we're gonna go build, and we're gonna do the wooden. But there's all these different types of wooden stuff you can do. So I'm gonna look them all up and see what all we need. But if you do a wooden wall, uh, well, you'd want the door or the double door. Double door. Uh, you can get through with the cart so it's always good to have at least one access with the double door but I don't know if you want that your front door but we'll I'll take a look at all the pictures and see what they all look like and we'll BRB alright so welcome back so real quick I decided to go ahead and show you on Wormpedia the wooden house and I enlarged the pictures so where you could see them better but this is a wooden wall so that's a normal wall with no windows, no nothing. And then we have the regular wooden door. And of course the wooden shingles here go well together. So that that's the kind of roof we're going to do, by the way. So this would be like a normal front door, if you would. Or there's an inviting one further down here. Uh, there's a double door that you can actually put a cart through. So there's that. There's your single window. All right. 
There's your wide window. It has a little roof on top of it. The rock behind is kind of uh, uh, out of the norm, I guess. Uh, it, you know, if they would have shown you like it open, it would have worked better, but the rock doesn't go there. So I don't know why they didn't do it like on this one where you can see inside the building. But yeah, it makes it look not right. The pork cutlass? Why didn't it? I don't know why it did a small image. Oh, because it says right there it's a small one. Alright, well, you know, pork cutlass. So it makes noise as you... And then it comes down. As you go in, it goes... You know, it makes some noise. It's kind of loud. Um, this would be an inviting front door. So we have this one. I don't know. I kind of like that one. Um, we could do a door like this now it does open to the left so that's kind of but whatever whatever <laughs> this is an arched wall so this is what I was talking about you do an arched wall coming in this way and then an arched wall this way and it creates like a uh, like a little porch if you would and you could just go right through here into your fenced area on this side to put your horses or whatever and you could have a fence right here so where you can uh, have this all blocked on that uh, slope that comes up off the uh, road. So there's that. Then we have a T-arch, which I, I don't recall seeing this one in the game when I was playing, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago. Uh, it says, well, it's possible that they added it right after I left. I mean, November 2017. That's possible. So there's that. And then we have this right angle um, to the right. So it's like uh, this one, only it's the whole tile. And then, of course, you have the, the left going that way. So that's interesting. I mean, you could do like a blacksmith area, blacksmith shop, which it would probably look pretty cool. So you'll have a beam in the way but I mean it'll look better but so there we go there's our options so I'm gonna work it out what I want and uh, I don't know I'm thinking the double door so where I could go in if needs be and, and just go ahead and take care of what I need to do and then come back out yeah, I know it's not pretty to look at but um, this one you can't put a cart through. So, I mean, let's hit back and see what it says. Um, man sized. Man sized door. So, the door is too small for hitched vehicles to be driven through. That to me is a problem. I have a an oven and everything already built. I'd like to drop it off. This would not allow me to do so. So, there we go. All right. Well, we'll be right back. All right. Well, welcome back. So, here's our house so far. Uh, we did go ahead and pave this. This will be like a little porch area. I'm probably going to have a, a bench here and uh, some hedges or something along the sides on this side and and this side. So, that's my thought right here. Um, we do have the double doors, so where we can bring a cart in. We have the the wooden window, the, the wide, wide window here. And if we come around this side, we have a solid wall here. I'm thinking that, uh, well, here. That we'll put some shelves here, right here. That way if I come in with something, I can go ahead and drop it off. And they shouldn't be wider than than this spot right here so I think they'll fit fine and I figured a, a table here or something or or I might do it back over on this side like a table so you can look out of course we need to get rid of some of these trees so you can look out and have a nice view so these are wide windows as well this one and this one this one is a regular wall regular wall there on what regular wall here and here I'm thinking the stairs will be here to go up 
and the floor well right now it's packed dirt you can uh, grab a stone or, or some slate or something and throw it down but they also have another option to where you don't see this and you can see out um, the other option would be is to build a floor uh, let's see mallet plan um, floor below just like that so there you go and that will actually cover that little gap up um, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get it all taken care of so I'll get this done we'll pop in I'll probably go ahead and build the second floor as well so where y'all can see that and um, go ahead and put a roof on so we'll, we'll get to all that and we are currently at 57.69 on carpentry so there we go we have it all planned out that does mean that when you come in you'll actually pop up I think I think rather than appear to be inside the floor like that we'll see we'll see um, what's it take what's it take to make this um, plan um, add to crafting. We throw the mallet here. Wooden floor plank. Create. Yeah, see I need uh, small nails and planks. So there we go. Um, let's come out here though. So, we already saw we paved all this. I went ahead and changed this. It was rounded stone. We changed it all to the regular cobblestone, and I went a little bit that way uh, with what dirt I did have, which wasn't enough to go that way. And so I've changed all this, added a trash heap here that way we can, whoo, little lag. That way we can get rid of stuff. As you see, I have a bunch of sprouts in here. Oh, we're down to 39 now. Wait, that means I can get rid of the rest of these. Ah, well, they're they're on my. Uh, on my cart and you'll notice we have two treasure maps we're going to go adventuring and uh, check those out see what we get from those that will be coming up after the house after the house is built and we did go go ahead and I didn't level this yet but we're going to level all this and we come this way I've chopped down all the trees we have a diagonal road coming this way to Tina which is still standing here for some reason. Oh, did she log off? And right here, it switches to what Tina liked. She liked the round cobblestone. I prefer the uh, the regular cobblestone. But I went ahead and did it this way because right there will be our border edge anyway. So once you come across into this, it'll say it'll pop up that you you've entered our city when we move our token. So I helped her pave some of this uh, to about right here. She paved all the rest of this. And there she is. Tina Scat. So there we go. And her place is way back over there. Way back over there. There you go. You see it right back over there. She has a saw flattened and everything. Has a farm and all that. But that's what's going on so we'll be back and uh, we'll check out more of the build of the house all right see you soon all right well welcome back so here we are we're at our house we have a two by three on the bottom and a two by two on top so yeah let, let's check it out so we do have the wooden floors in and there is still grass showing so let's take care of that real quick let's come to the back side we'll grab our scissors right there now you can forage you can you can forage and and then uh, grab your sickle and gather the grass if you want to do that I don't really care I just want to fix this so okay well we got to cut the grass might as well forage nothing might as well botanize nothing okay so let's go ahead and cut the grass it's tall tall grass 
There we go. Now you grab your scissors and now you trim. This does use gardening, if I recall. Yep, gardening. So there we go, we have a lawn. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Now nothing can eat off of it, like your animals can't eat off a lawn. So keep that in mind if you do that. Let's go back in, and you can see there's no more grass showing. There is that tree there, that walnut tree. But anyway, so we go up, actually, let's first take a look at this so this is the plan floor we're gonna add it to the window so we have the floor plan and the mallet birch wood this is the one you select you select uh, there'll be a list if, if you have other options but the wooden plank floor we're going to create it and I do have it set to build three by uh, three by three every time so there we go we got a it's ten plank and Two nails, if I, yeah, two nails. Two small nails. One, two, right there. So we'll go ahead and craft this up. And then we're going to go upstairs and uh, finish the roof. So, yeah, that's the plan. I did fall off the roof because um, we were building building the high ropes. And I fell, fell off, hurt ourselves. That's awesome, right? We hurt our arm. Look at that. Twelve damage. Twelve damage from our from falling off the roof. One one story, by the way. So you can't you can die from falling off. Now the other thing I want to show, we'll get rid of this. Is this this is the high rope fence, and this is the low rope fence. I don't really like the the way the low rope looks. I just don't think that's high enough for like a balcony so I think we'll use the high rope fence right there which is two shaft and four rope so we'll get that going here in a minute too so you'll get to see a lot so here we go here's the roof it does require ten shingles and two small nails so it automatically um, like lines itself up correctly with the roof so you'll see that here in a sec when we finish this. So there we go. You see, I can do a thatched roof, but we have no thatch on us, so you can't do it. Or And I have no skill. You're too low a skill. <clears throat> so we're going to do the wooden shingle roof. And if you have one plank, uh, just keep in mind it only makes eight shingles. You need ten. So if you do a four square, then that's... Um, that that works out the math works out so yeah we'll get this done and then you'll see the roof the roof will automatically pop up right here and we'll get that but y'all let me know what y'all think about my my first house on this um, it's not my first house ever <clears throat> oh and that's one thing we needed to mention the stairs. I totally forgot about the, the way the stairs work in this. So there we go. You see it popped all the way up. So there. Now it's a high pitch roof. And there we go. So the stairs. The stairs require a space at the bottom and a space at the top. So I had to change my floor plan idea. I wanted it right here, but yeah, that doesn't work. I could have tried some other things like trying to do it right, but I, th I think it it attaches to the wall so I would have had to do it right here as, but as you come in downstairs that's right where the right where the door is so trying to get a wagon around that and then our, our window there trying to get a wagon around that would be a little difficult a little bit of a pain so we did it a different way and look I'm already healing so um, the other thing oh the layout here we go. So we did a, a blank wooden wall or a regular wooden wall right there. I don't know if I showed you this or not. We did a double or wooden wide window here, a wooden wide wide window here, a regular window here. Um, so I could put some storage stuff on the sides and then not block the the window. Then we have a solid wall here on both sides. 
that's for the bed. The bed's going to be right there. And then a single window here because I figured, you know, we have this, this wooden canopy here. And it, this and this one, both of these, because I already had the floor in or something, they showed up backwards. So you can click this button right here, rotate wall, and it'll flip the wall around. And I'll go ahead and show you that. Boom. So there, now it's inside like it was earlier. So yeah, the canopy's inside. We, we don't really need it inside, we want it outside. So we'll go ahead and do it just like that. So there you go. But having, having all these windows on the porch makes it look pretty nice. Now, like I was saying, here's a high rope fence and the low rope fence. And I, I really do like the high rope fence better. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And you just do fence come down here to rope and we do a high rope it is two shafts and uh, four rope for this one and you'll see why I fell off earlier because it's not letting me click it so I have to go downstairs and do it again so we'll go ahead and do this one too fence rope high there we go now I could destroy that other one but I want you to see the the difference here. All you do is you click it from down here. It's a little safer. Add the crafting window and then uh, you'll see it's four rope and two shafts. So there you go. Oh, we got uh, some skill. What do we get? A hammer. Hammer to 30. That's nice. So there you go. That looks so much better. And then you come over here and you do the same thing. Now next up is uh, beautification and uh, getting some stuff inside. <coughs> it's rather empty. So we'll work on that and get this all taken care of. You are standing in the way. Are you serious? I'm, I'm below the fence. Ugh. <laughs> but all right, so there we go. There we go. That does look so much better, right? <coughs> and then we could do a, <coughs> pardon me, we could do a couple of benches up there, maybe a little little table. But uh, I'll go ahead and get rid of this, and uh, we'll fix it up. But I, I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's looking pretty good. Now, my other thought is, is we might keep these trees here or something, <coughs> <coughs> or move them down one for the house that's behind it. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll we'll work on it. We'll figure it out. But <clears throat> I'm personally not going to build another house that way. We're gonna we're gonna build out that way. So if anyone wants to join me, they they're more than welcome to either go up this way or um, come out this side. But I think we're going to do a farm right here, a big farm right here. Hopefully, I don't hit rock hopefully um, oh and these trees these trees are all going to go away we're going to do bushes and I think down here we're going to do uh, grapes grapes and uh, apples and you know our fruit trees and our uh, vines I think that's all going to be down here that way it doesn't block the view of this house might actually just do it along the whole row here all the way down because we're going to end up with a 30 tile. It'll be 30 this way and 30 that way from this spot. So that that's a lot. That's a lot. That's 60 tiles. We could surely work something out with 60. But all right. Well, we'll be back when I have this beautified, this beautiful house. All right. See you back in a bit. All right. So welcome back. So here we are, we have this all set up for the most part. Uh, I have an extra food storage bin now. It's sitting outside, it's empty though. But let's go ahead and go in. So uh, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in here now. This is all our cooking stuff. We have cheese drill, measuring jug, plate, pottery bowl, walnut press, walnut fruit press, and a small bucket. 
and we have a full storage bin right there for food we have a, the wooden barrels or the small barrels are right here we have a bunch of uh, BSB bulk storage bins scattered all over we have our spinning wheel our floor loom the stand, armor stand, the we the pole arm stand, our rack, the weapons rack, the bow rack, more storage, more storage. These are all logs, and uh, this one, I forget, I don't think this one has anything, does it? No, this one doesn't have anything. So that's an empty one. Um, most of our other materials are going to be in this one and this one. I tried to keep uh, cotton stuff for the loom and the spinning wheel right here and then uh, other stuff here various other things we also have another storage uh, empty shelf which is no longer empty so I got these to u be used so that's nice so we have this one right over here which holds all our food products and a couple more food products over here are more in pestle and a grindstone and an empty flower pot that I couldn't get anything planted in up here we have our bed, we have a little chest, um, and then, uh, oh yeah, let's go, hello, outside, we have an empty pottery planter rack, and we have a full one, hey, look at this, isn't this pretty, yeah, I don't like how everything lights up though, when you, when you click it, but, um, when you open it, you can actually check out we have four empty planters so we have four more to expand into but we have basil, beldonia, cumin, uh, probably cumin, I don't know, cocoa bean, brown mushrooms, blueberry, we have a bunch of different things a bunch of different things and I try to keep them in alphabetical order uh, based on the uh, quality here so if you just put them in in the same quality it, it'll try to keep it somewhat organized so yeah so there we go there we are our little roof on our our door here so if we go back in though um, you still can't see the grass so that's good I don't know if it's still lawn or not let's check out check it out yeah it's still lawn hey how about that but uh, I did plant a bunch of olive trees, which are coming into season soon, like real soon. So we'll get some olive oil from these once we press them. And I have a bunch of stuff lined up to throw in our trash bin here to try to clean this place up. So let's see how we're doing. Oh, good. It's empty. Um, what do we want? Let's go ahead and take this. I don't think the locks can go in the trash, so you know what, we'll we'll leave that. I'm not sure about locks. I have no idea. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and to take all those, and we will take what we can of that. There we go. Those should dissolve pretty quick. But uh, yeah, a bunch of low-level logs. I mean, if you look, they're they're all crap logs I mean nothing nothing too spectacular these are all 143 so I mean I don't care about them our boat we built a little rowboat so I have a rowboat now uh, oh we did move our token to here I found out that that would actually work for us so if we go 30 that way we'll cover the entire castle so there we go there's a benefit right there I was working hard on everything and I was running out of time trying to get all that dirt I tell you what oh and uh, we did level all this out I did a bunch a bunch of surface mining but uh, if we come this way bear with me for a sec this is all level all of this is level and then uh, this is like the 21st tile it's the exact same on that side, 21st tile, then we go angle. So, and I have my tree pile right here for our 30 boundary. I did go one tile past, but that's all good. We're, we're going to do this, this cobblestone 
all the way to my brother which is going to be that way and then off that way if someone built a town literally right this way so we might actually just turn it and go straight north and go next to their town but I'm going to verify that it's okay and there he is Thalnor yeah Thalnor so there you go so that's my neighbor um there we go that's pretty much everything going on right now um all right but if you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you're not already go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you next time though y'all take care hope you're enjoying the series see ya but y'all come back to see us now here all right